Dr. Bonner uh, came to Carson Newman in 1937 as a professor of chemistry and he retired from full time here at Carson Newman in 1973 and uh, during his time he built the department up to where it was recognized as one of the top ten chemistry departments in the United States for undergraduate research and teaching. What really put him on the map was taking undergraduate students and letting them have an opportunity to work in the lab trying to make compounds that could be useful as drugs against cancer. The beauty of what he did was he was able to take a large complicated project like that and break it down into small pieces that undergraduates with only a year or two of chemistry could plug into and help make their little contribution and move the project forward. It was during my senior year 19, in the fall of 60 and the spring of 61 and Dr. Bonner was a, a, my mentor. These students kept these old lab, just a, like a, a composition book you'd use for an English class, and they all kept their lab notebooks and wrote everything down every day as they did them. And um, Dr. Bonner kept these lab notebooks because they were important references of how chemicals were made. We wanted to return the notebooks to those students. We had about 130 people who had notebooks here. We had addresses for about 70 or, or, or so of those people still. But it's a way to say thanks to them for their contributions while they were here. And for them, it's something they can pass on as a legacy to their children about what they did when they were at Carson Newman. It's pretty much just like I remember it. I had colon cancer last year and had surgery and had chemotherapy. I thought at that time, I said, I wonder if Dr. Bonner, if any of these drugs, you know, came through Dr. Bonner and through Dr. Bonner's research. As a result of sending the notebooks back to former students, in the letter we, we asked them if they would like to make a donation, that they could make a donation to the Bonner Research Fund. And we have had several people who have sent in some money. I had a phone call the other day from somebody in California who's 84 years old and said, I'm just overwhelmed with this. The Carl Tab and Catherine Bonner Summer Research Fund was started by the Bonner family and they saw a need for summer research to take place at Carson Newman. The Bonner Research Fund allows those students to stay here in the summer and do research that is pertinent to science in general. It was exhilarating for these students to be a part of something big like trying to cure cancer, right? They knew that they weren't going to be the one that was going to solve the whole problem, but if they could be a part of that big picture of trying to solve cancer, that was such a motivator, such an exhilarating experience, and we want them to, to be able to, to have that notebook back to help them remember that. The Bonner Fund has been an enormous help to this department. Um, enables us to attract students to these research opportunities. It gives them a way to um, provide for themselves while they're here in the summer. I'm a recipient of the Bonner Summer Research Fund. I'm studying the binding of resveratrol to amyloid beta. Amyloid beta is a protein that's thought to cause Alzheimer's disease. Through research, I discovered that's what I really like. And I like going in depth into really narrow questions. The future of this project though, we really want to grow the fund. Um, research is one of those things where with, with rare individuals it, it will actually um, capture their, their hearts and I, I think with Jed that's the case and getting top students to make that decision, um, that's, that's a huge uh, accomplishment. When I first met Dr. Bonner I'd already heard about him. There's this tall, thin gentleman, white-haired gentleman, and a short, vivacious wife. And I had heard all these stories about this fabulous person. And when I met him, it all was true. If you describe Dr. Bonner with one word, you, you could use kindness. I would like to thank the contributors to the Bonner Summer Research Fund. It has really been a blessing to me. It's really helped me solidify my future career goals and I would encourage that the program continue.